Good morning and welcome to Florida. Today we're in November. It's beautiful here, as you can see. If a little noisy, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Today I'm right outside 2814 Spinning Silk Court. We're in Formosa Gardens. It's at the end of a little cul-de-sac and this is a bank-owned property. It's currently configured as a six-bedroom, four-bathroomed home. Sometimes it's set up as a five-four and we'll show you why in just a moment. But as normal, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, 360 and explain what's going on here. And then we'll take a walk around the perimeter and we'll go inside and take a look. Okay, we are, we are on a large pie-shaped lot, as you can see. And I want to give you some idea of the neighbouring properties here. As we mentioned, it is a, a cul-de-sac. Sorry for the noise, I know it's a little windy. There is some building work going on at this house here. They're having an extension built there. Uh, and it's been very well done, I have to say. Um, neighbouring homes, as you can see here. There is a, a storm coming, Ida or something, I believe we're going to get some of the outer bands off. Let's walk around the outside. You can see here the uh, sprinklers. We might need uh, an adjustment. Another one there pointing right up in the air, right over our entrance way. Let's walk around the back. We mentioned that this is a very large lot. And you'll see also a lot of privacy back here. It's a very expensive fence. I know it needs pressure washing, but that's a minor job. And I think we're on something approaching. It's between a third and half an acre here. Very, very large pool deck. There is a spa there also. And um, as you can see, because it's bank owned, it's not been particularly well cared for. But the paintwork of the house itself is very, very good in actual fact. The deck does need to be repainted. But the paint itself has been done fairly recently and uh, all it needs doing is just a bit of a, a, a clean up, a, a wash down, it should be fine. Then you get some idea again of the scale of the actual lot here, it's huge, a lot of space and a lot of privacy too, as you can see. Okay, let's take a look inside. Cool, okay, that's better. Um, now as you can see on entering here, let's try and give us some idea of where we are. There is a family room here guess maybe a formal living room and we do have some columns and some attractive light fixtures here that's our formal dining area there and we have what's known here as a split floor plan there is a very large bonus room uh, which takes us up to a very large room above the garage which will go up in a moment and you'll see there we have some French doors here which take us out to that uh, very large pool deck area and uh, so let's take a look through here first, which will take us through to a great room and kitchen combo. That's we're going to walk through this doorway. Okay, and on entering, you'll see we have a very large kitchen area. And I want to wheeze you back around here because you'll see that there is some additional space here, some eating space in the kitchen, a pantry there, and then uh, there's space for our refrigerator, which is just over my shoulder. There is an existing ceramic top range and a microwave with extraction over and as you can see there's an island um, these countertops are solid they're not for mica they're corian and then as i spin around here you'll see we have access there is a uh, bedroom and bathroom through that doorway there this is a family room kitchen combo there's the refrigerator for some reason it's been moved and some further French doors which take us out to that wonderful pool deck area. And spinning around over my shoulder again, you get some idea of the full scale of where we are. Now, I'm going to go through here and to our right, which will take us to some further bedrooms. Now, directly ahead of us is the room uh, sorry, the corridor, we'll see their air handling unit and there is uh, a tumble dryer there. That's normally where our washer and dryer would go. There is a door missing off this frame. Um, and then the garage has been converted. It's through that door. We'll go through there momentarily. Here's the staircase, which takes us to that bonus room we were talking about earlier above the garage. And I'll show you there. You see it goes up. And then 
further along here you'll notice we have two additional very good sized bedrooms in actual fact there is one here and if we move in here very briefly I want to show you that the doors again are missing from the closet there's a little bit of trim missing from the side there and some baseboard is also missing so obviously the home need needs some repairs um, here in the bathroom we have here there's a missing waste that I notice um, but it is all tiled and again it's just minor very minor things that need doing and through here another very good sized bedroom obviously done out as a children's room ceiling fan with some primary colors there and um, notice that the blinds here are the plantation style and let's take a, a walk now up this um, staircase to our bonus room okay and on entering here you'll notice a very large room again um, I recall that this could be configured as uh, two bedrooms two be effectively making this a seven bedroom home but there's lots of space for a very large bed there there is closet space there it does have its own bathroom through there in a moment and if I move back here um, typically this would be a seating area so you could have uh, a couch with maybe a TV and perhaps coffee making or something here's a bathroom again you'll notice there is a walk-in shower and again there at the sink there there's some I've been a home inspection carried out on this home recently so that's why the cupboards are left open but a huge huge bonus room very very large okay going back down now we're going to go back to um, where we came in and go and look at the master bedroom okay and walking back uh, this is the entry door that we came in through to start with and I want to point out something very um, interesting here which is this is our master bedroom and one of the options when these homes were built was to have this brown wall as you can see here although I don't think it was brown as an option but um, you could have this wall constructed to make an additional bedroom and that's what these people when this house was built elected to do so the master bedroom which would normally be very sizable and this home is a little truncated I want to show you here we have closets either side of this entryway here walk-in closets and then we're going to go through into the master bathroom which you can see to my left here has a walk-in shower and then again solid countertops and a very large garden tub and then some further cabinets here and then going back through so um, I'm going to take you right into this additional bedroom that's been created as a result of this wall being constructed. And as you can see here it's to the right of these French doors so on entering here it is a fairly good sized room in actual fact that's been created and you'll see that it overlooks the swimming pool and we have again a further set of French doors that are out to the deck area okay so that concludes our tour of 2814 spinning silk court in beautiful formosa gardens here in florida right next to disney world um, my personal opinion on this house i think the six bedroom to, for me at least is a bit of an unnecessary thing i would much prefer to see the wall removed and it made into one very large imposing bed master bedroom which the house befits really of its stature and, and location and quality um, in terms of repairs, there's not a lot of big ticket items. I would guess you'd probably want to replace the carpets. Uh, also some fresh paint and uh, with one or two minor repairs. The only other big ticket item here I can see is the lawn. It is a huge, huge lot. This is a, a very big pie shaped lot. It's in a very impressive location. Um, so from my perspective, I don't see this off as much of a risk really if you can get it at the right price. Um, our website up here at easyhomestore.com has got uh, our contact details should you need to speak to us about it. 
Um, but for now, until next time, this is Greg for the Easy Home Store signing off. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.